Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Topic 9 differentiation lecture 3 of 4 part 2 of 3 At the end of the lesson students should be able to A. Apply the basic rule of differentiation for the following function where u equals to gx is any function of x The function they are, that we are going to differentiate is ln u and the second one is trigonometric function that is sin u cos u tangent u secant u cosecant u and cotangent u Okay, now we continue to the natural logarithmic function of the form y equals to ln fx where fx is a linear function of x or you can write simply as fx equals to ax plus b linear function. Okay, so what is the derivative of ln fx? So, take a look at the proof here. If given y equals to ln fx, by using chain rule, you let fx as a u, u equals to fx. So, what is y in term of u? y equals to ln u. So, differentiate u, we get du dx or f prime x. If y equals to ln x, so... The answer is here. So y prime equals to 1 over y dy du over 1 over u. So by using chain rule, we substitute the derivative dy du equals to 1 over u du dx equals to this one f prime. So the answer is fx over x. Okay, so d dx f prime x is equals to 1 over fx multiplied with f prime x okay or simply you write in a form of this differentiate ln x is equals to f prime x over fx okay i write one more time d dx ln fx is equals to 1 over fx and don't forget forget to differentiate fx differentiate fx the answer is f prime x okay so what is fx fx is a linear function that is ax plus b a linear function okay i hope you memorize this formula because we will use after this a y equals to ln 3x so y prime equals to 1 over 3x then you need to differentiate 3x d dx 3x differentiate 3x so the answer is 1 over 3x differentiate 3x the answer is 3 so 3 is cancelled out so the answer is 1 over x okay please memorize the formula yeah d dx one more time at right here ln ax plus b the answer is 1 over a at plus b then differentiate a at plus b the answer is a the answer is a so take a look at example b y equals to half of ln 5 minus 3x so dy dx equals to actually we will use product root rule here so 1 over 2 is u ln 5 minus 3x is v Okay, by using product rule, 
u v prime what is u 1 over 2 differentiate ln is 1 over 1 over 5 minus 3x we haven't finished yet you have to differentiate inside the ln 5 minus 3x then you right here differentiate 5 minus 3x plus differentiate ln 5 minus 3x then differentiate 1 over 2 differentiate 1 over 2 0 so actually you don't have to write this so the answer is differentiate 5 minus 3x negative 3 so negative 3 over 2 times 5 minus 3x so this is the final answer Okay, C. Given y equals to x ln x, we will use this by using product rule again. Or by let u equals to x and v equals to ln x. Differentiate u, u prime or du, dx. Differentiate x, 1. Okay, differentiate v, v prime, differentiate ln x. We have learned just now. 1 over x so dy dx is equals to u v prime x multiply with 1 over x plus v u prime ln x multiply with 1 so the answer is 1 plus ln x okay what about d y equals to ln x over x Okay, so u is ln x, u prime or du dx equals to 1 over x. Then we have v, v equals to ex, v prime equals to ex also. Substitute into the formula by using pro, uh, quotient rule. Okay, this one we will use quotient rule. v u prime e x multiply with 1 over x minus u v prime ln x multiply with e x over v squared e x squared so the answer is e x over x minus e x followed by ln x over e x squared or you can write as e to the power of 2x okay then you simplify to get factorize, factorize e dy dx factorize e x so uh, in the bracket we have 1 over x minus ln x over e to the power of 2x okay now i will continue with the derivative of a trigonometric functions where the function is sign u okay so what is u actually u is uh, any function in term of x so what is u u is any function in terms of x so just now we just differentiate sin x the answer is differentiate sin x the answer is cos x now we want to differentiate sin u what is u u is any function in terms of x so when you differentiate you have for example a differentiate sin u the answer is cos u then you need to differentiate u differentiate u du dx okay okay take a look at b d dx cos u differentiate cos u the answer is negative sin u negative sin u but we haven't finished yet you have to differentiate u so differentiate u d dx u 
or you can write as u prime okay c differentiate tangent x the answer is secant squared sorry differentiate tangent u the answer is secant squared u then differentiate u the same method we apply for cotangent secant and cosecant differentiate cotangent like the pre previous formula the answer is negative cosecant squared x then you need to differentiate u differentiate u d d x u okay so differentiate secant u the answer is secant u tangent u then differentiate u okay the last one differentiate secant u okay need this is u yeah differentiate secant u the answer is negative cosecant u cotangent u then you have to differentiate u with respect to x okay okay i hope you understand the formula take a look at the next example find the derivative of cos 5x plus 4 so you have to differentiate cos 5x plus 4 so the answer is differentiate cos is sine we have negative in front negative sine sine of u so what is u here 5x plus 4 is a u here so u substitute what is u 5x plus 4 and then we haven't finished yet you have to differentiate u okay so d dx is the operator means you want to differentiate what is u substitute what is u 5x plus 4 okay follow or not so the answer is negative sine 5x plus 4 differentiate 5 plus 4 we have 5 so normally we will bring the constant in front 5 will be in front with negative 5 then followed by sine 5x plus 4 okay this is the simplest form okay now b differentiate sine ln x so the answer is differentiate sign the answer is cos cos u so ln x here is a u u equals to ln x okay so cos u what is u bracket ln x then you haven't finished yet you have to differentiate u what is u ln x so the answer is cos bracket ln x differentiate ln we have learned before differentiate ln is 1 over x so final answer is cos ln x over x okay now we move to c differentiate tangent pi over 6 minus 3x close the bracket so what is the answer when you differentiate tangent the answer is secant squared so the answer is secant squared secant squared u what is u just copy paste u pi over 6 minus 3x okay remember you haven't finished yet you have to differentiate u the inner part here so differentiate pi over 6 minus 3x so the answer is secant squared pi over 6 minus 3x differentiate pi over 6 is 0 differentiate negative 3x negative 3 so the answer is negative 3 okay because this one is 0 so as usual you have to bring negative 3 in front so negative 3 secant squared pi over 6 minus 3x is the final answer okay last one differentiate d differentiate d dx differentiate secant secant 2x plus 3 so what is the answer d 
the answer is differentiate secant the answer is secant tangent so the answer is secant 2 at plus 3 and followed by tangent 2 at plus 3 then you have to differentiate u is u 2 at plus 3 okay so the answer is okay, now differentiate 2 at plus 3 the answer is 2 now I'll be I will bring 2 in front 2 secant 2 at plus 3 multiply with tangent 2 at plus 3 okay so this is the last this is the uh, solution the simplest form